Hello guys, it's Sunday, uh, August 18, 2013, and today is our 55th day of this 90 day challenge, and it's the end of week 8. I'm going to go ahead and um, read my measurements for this uh, week. Everything stayed pretty much the same as last week. For my chest, I had 43 inches. My waist, I had 35 and a half. For my arm, I had 15 and a half. For my hips, I had 40 and a quarter. For my thighs, I had 24 and a half. And for my weight, I haven't checked that because I usually check it with you guys. So, well, I check it during the week, but the final one, I always check it here with you. So, let's see what we got. 209.5. Two oh nine point two. So I was let's see so two oh nine point two. Let me get the calculator out really quick so I can give you a quick number. I always get nervous with the mat even though it's simple, especially if I'm being recorded. So two 210.6 minus 209.2 equals 1.4 pounds loss. So that is pretty great because, like I mentioned last week, I went on that hike and I lost a lot of weight and I, I was able to keep it off, which I was I'm pretty happy about. I didn't think I was kind of worried last week because I thought that was a lot of weight, but. Uh, Fortunately, I was able to do it and keep it off, and that's great. You know, I feel really happy about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer my questions. How has the Life Pulse Six Unlimited affected my diet and exercise? It's been doing like it, it's been going like it always does. You know, it's been helping me. It's been helping me keep on track and motivated. I barely have cravings. We uh, went to the fair this Saturday, and. Like, there was tons of people eating hot dogs, burgers, all kinds of stuff, like frozen lemonades and popcorn, and I was able to handle it. I'm not like, like, I mean, I do crave it, but it's not something that I, like, it's impossible to handle. You know, the cravings are very, very slight, like, very, very low, and I think that has to do a lot with the pill, you know, and, and helping me, and also just seeing my results, and, you know not giving up on this and you guys and just trying to you know stay motivated so yeah I think that's, that's helping a lot and um, my exercise well I was clear this Friday from the doctor and I started doing deadlifts and cleaning jerks and pull-ups and I'm I was feeling pretty tired yesterday I was pretty sore because I got clear on, on Friday. As soon as I got clear, I went to the gym, started doing some more crazy workouts, and it's been feeling great. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, how has my diet been? Have I been following the deadline diet? Yes, I have. I follow everything, you know, as, as close as possible. I was just eating nothing but turkey, tuna, and chicken. And turkey and tuna and chicken like every single day. Uh, it was just pretty boring, but it's okay, you know. It's work and that's what pays off, you know. So um, it's kind of nice now that we're going to be able to have some more carbohydrates on phase three. I'm going to follow it, you know, and, and it's going to be pretty, it's going to be a lot easier. So my mood's been great, you know. That next question, my mood's always been good. I. I get, I'm pretty happy, you know, just seeing the results and all that stuff. And, um, why did, let's see, what am I looking to accomplish in the w next week ahead? Well, on the next week ahead on, on the phase three, it tells us that we're going to have, there's some type of training called uh, German volume training, GVT. And I'm planning on not doing this. Because that's the only thing that I'm going to switch that I'm not going to really follow that much on the on the face because um, I just barely got clear from the doctor and I want to unleash on the gym like I want to do everything that I was not able to do so um, I'm not going to like 
just try to do a couple of exercises. I'm just going to do everything like I used to do it. And I'm going to see how much muscle I can put in this last 35 days that we have left. I also um, received our new supplement, the CLA. I started, I received it on Thursday with, you know, the protein and stuff and the other Ipol pills. And um, it's pretty, it looks like, you know, looks like it's going to help me a lot. It says that it helps uh, shape a lean body, supports metabolic activity, helps increase the muscle. And it's a stimulant free, so I tried it for this couple of days, and I feel pretty good, you know, I don't, I don't feel like any weird reactions or anything, so I like it a lot, you know. I did a little bit of research, and it seems really interesting, so I can't wait to see the results on this. And um, there's also other stuff that I want to talk about. I promised Christian that I was going to talk about the uh, trail mix that I make, and so here it is, Christian. Um, basically... Everything, all the nuts that I buy, well, that my wife gets in the store, are raw nuts. We get this uh, bag from a store called Trader Joe's, where they sell all natural stuff. What we basically do is we get Brazil nuts, we get pecans, we get um, sunflower seeds, and they're not roasted. And, and none of these is, uh, nuts are roasted. And... Um, California walnuts, you know, you can get some walnuts, Pe pecan, I mean, I'm sorry, I already said pecans, almonds, and the only, and we do sprinkle a little bit of roasted, um, sunflower seeds on it too, they're also, um, they're roasted, but they're not salted, so, these are pretty, you know, it gives it a little bit of flavor, we don't put too many of them, just to keep it as natural as possible. And lastly, we add some raisins to it. So, this would help you guys stay, keep your hunger level down. You know, it'll help you have your fat, your good fats inside you and like, you know, consume, you know, your, huh, my, my tongue got all stuck. So, um, it'll help you get all your fats, your right fats inside your body. The only thing we have for the Brazil nuts, because they're so big and they're kind of a little bit of bitter, um, we have this little chopper. So we basically put some in there and chop them. So there you go, uh, Christian. I hope that helps you out. You know, just put a little bit of everything, mix them up, take them to work, and I promise you that's going to be a really helpful for you to, you know, keep your hunger levels down. With that being said, <clears throat> um, I'm also going to be going back to work this coming week. So my schedule is going to be, this week is going to start from 6 in the morning to 3.30 p.m. And I'm also going to have school on Tuesdays from 6.30 to 9 p.m. But that's not going to stop me. I'm so excited about working out hard that I'm planning, what I'm planning to do is go to work I mean, go to go to the gym Monday and Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 7 p.m. After work, come home, eat, and then go to the gym. And on Tuesdays, I'm gonna go to school, and then after school, I'm gonna go to the gym. And then on the weekends, I'm probably just gonna go earlier. And then Sunday, I'm gonna rest like I always do. But uh, with that being said, I do have a problem. Something came up. I've been looking at my work pants. And here they are, and um, well, looks like I'm going to have to go do some shopping today because, let me put this up really quick, um, see if they even fit me with my shorts. They're a little bit big. Now, if you guys can see that, it's, you know, I can fit two hands in there, so... Yeah, they're going to be a little bit um, loose, so I'm thinking about going to the uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about going to the store and getting a couple of pair of pants. I saw I saw a post from I think it was Jesus that posted. I'm pretty sure it was Jesus that posted a picture of his pants, how they were pretty low, and I was I mean pretty loose also. And you know I thought hey that'd be cool to share with you guys that I you know that my pants also got pretty loose and I think it was also Christian that yeah Christian put that something about his pants so 
Yeah, I'm having the same issue. Everybody's having issues now with the work pants and the, and the actual clothes. But those issues are positive issues. I did not mind them and I wish they can continue coming. But um, also, I wanted to mention my grades. I got my grades for, for school. The classes that I took during the summer, the speech class, the history class, and the um, sociology class. And I got three A's on all of them, as you guys can see on the picture that's going to come up. So, there you guys have it. I got three A's, and um, it was pretty It was pretty cool, you know. It was nice to, to, get, to get good grades and to be doing this at the same time. So, pretty excited. I know I'm going to be able to do good with one class and work and the 90-day challenge. Because um, I was able to take three, so I can do one for sure. I just decided to do one because of work, so I wanted to make sure I could handle everything and have enough time for myself to take care of my body because that's pretty important. Lastly, uh, I want to mention, what else, let's see, already, I have a little bit of a list right here because I had a lot of things that I wanted to talk about, but um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just, just wanted to say how excited I am about this 35 days that are left. Because it really, I'm really, really motivated. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be able to do so much more with my workouts that it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna post a couple of videos about workouts and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy them. And with that being said, guys, um, I hope you guys stay strong and stay motivated and keep working hard. If you have any questions, if there's anything I can help you, send me a message through the Light Pulse X page or. Hit me right here on the YouTube thing and I'll help you guys as much as I can. Alright, thank you. We'll see you next week.